before reaching hurricane status. Idalia passing over the western tip of Cuba on Monday, lashing the island with heavy rains and 70 mile per hour winds. The storm now making its way north as Florida braces for the worst, preparing for the direct hit in the coming hours. Now we have live team coverage for you showing how South Florida is preparing to help our neighbors on the west coast and to the north. Annalise Garcia with Miami Dade Fire Rescue's task force. Let's begin this morning with Andrea Martinez live in Cedar Key where mandatory evacuations are scheduled for later on today. Andrea. Eric JC here in Cedar Key. That is the big story today that residents have to be out of here by 4 p.m. today. And I've got to tell you, it's pretty quiet out here because a lot of people are heeding those precautions. Let's take a look here. This is one house we are taking a look at and you can see the sign outside. We will be back. So a uh, resident here telling me, uh, hi, this is young Malcolm. He's getting ready to evacuate and make his way out of here. You're kind of prepping things up. Uh, talk to me about what's going through your mind because I know that you're very busy out here. It is, uh, it's just what you do. I mean, the enjoyment of living by the sea is sometimes you got to go. And uh, we knew that when we moved here, so obviously you worry a little bit, but there's nothing you can do about it. So we pack up, we go, and we'll be back Friday and see where we're at. And that's your hope, that you will be back. That's what you oh, we, we'll be, we will be back because we're going to leave. There may just be land here when we get back, but... You know, we planned for that when we retired, and we'll go from there. Have you ever evacuated before? Oh, yeah. We left with Ian, and so, yeah, you know, our whole plan was we still have property in Georgia. We hope to be here full-time eventually. But in the meantime, if it's messy here, we go there, and messy there, we come here. <laughs> and we saw some sheriff deputies out here kind of patrolling the situation, making mm -hmm. sure people are evacuating. What did they have to say? So that was Florida Highway Patrol, okay. and their part of the thing is when there is, is an emergency declaration, both within the city and the state, is they come by and they just physically ask property owners, uh, are you staying or are you going? Uh, even in a van mandatory evacuation, the, the authorities can't force you to leave your property. They just want you to understand that they can't help you until the emergency has cleared if you choose to stay. So they write that down, and then that helps them to kind of know where to start. Mm -hmm. who's there, who's not with emergency calls as they move forward. Right. And what have you heard from your neighbors? Everyone's mostly evacuating, it uh, seems? Yes, as, as far as I know, uh, the, you know, the majority of them right around here in this area are. There are some that are here on Cedar Key. The older homes like ours uh, obviously are in the most danger, especially those on the coast. Uh, the taller ones have all been built to codes that should withstand the wind, the rain, surge, all that. So some of those will stay. And the surge is the big threat here. That's right. up to 12 feet, the possibility right. of up to 12 feet. Above the top of my house. Above the top of your house. Or 12 feet. I mean, it's, it's about 10 right there at that point. Wow. So yeah, a lot of water. Okay, and I see you've got your sandbags here. Sandbags, you know, if it turns out not to be that bad, all that does is try to keep as much water as you can out, but here, it's uh, people that live here, that, that's what we do. Uh, you know, if it gets wet, you come back, and clean it out, mm -hmm. put it back together again and enjoy. Well, good luck to you, Young. You. And we will be here, of course, in Cedar Key, keeping you updated and bringing you the very latest updates. Of course, this storm, the worst of it expected tomorrow morning. So we will be here uh, throughout all of this, uh, keeping you posted on air and online. JC, Eric. All right, Andrea, thank you for that report. We appreciate it. And people in Tampa using the calm before the storm as an opportunity to prepare for Idalia's arrival. Residents grabbing sandbags, boarding up their homes, filling up on gas to protect themselves from the storm. Some even evacuating the area altogether, acknowledging the warning from emergency officials. That is going to move furniture in your house. That is going to move your vehicle. You do not want to be in your home when that stuff is being moved around. It could pin you against the wall. You can drown. You could die from blunt force trauma. School officials also working to keep students safe along with public schools there. The University of Florida and University of South Florida they have canceled classes today and tomorrow ahead of that storm. Take a look at grocery store shelves in nearby Clearwater like we see during every hurricane. Water bottle shelves wiped out 
as people stock up for likely power outages. Stores even forced to limit the amount of water people can buy at once to ensure that everyone can get some fairly. Stay with Local 10 for our continuing coverage of Edalia. Look for more reports from the Storm Zone today. Christian De La Rosa, Andrea Martinez, and Andrew Perez will all be on the ground bringing you the very latest.